Hi guys, today I will show you how to create various and multiple tiles using multi-sub map. This is free lesson from my full and the newest V-Ray for SketchUp advanced visualization course. To get very realistic effect, I usually model the tiles or panels. It's very easy. I click on the rectangle tool and model the first tile and type dimensions. 119.8 and the second dimension is 59.8 and press enter. Now using push-pull tool, I will add the thickness to this tile. The thickness is one centimeter. I click three times, right click and make group. Now I will place this tile in the corner. I will hide the layer, that's why I will expand tags and hide baseboard layer. And now I can easily place it in the corner. I will copy the tiles, that's why I select the tile, move to the right side, press left control and type 120. And do this again and again. Let's say that we need to scale this tile. That's why I click on it, choose scale tool, and I scale it to the wall and it looks fine. Now I can copy these tiles, press left control and move it by 60 centimeters. And let's do this multiple times. Okay, I think it's enough. Let's take a look at the scene one. It looks fine. Let's select all the tiles together. I press left control and then I right click and choose make group. Let's create the material. I go to the asset editor, go to the materials tab, click on create asset, materials, generic. I will rename it to V-Ray tiles. To create this tile, I will use multi-sub option. Let's take a look. I click on the diffuse tab and then choose multi-sub. Thanks to this, I can create multiple textures. It helps me to create non-repetitive pattern. Each pattern on the tiles will be different. Thanks to this, we'll get very realistic effect. I click on add texture, and let's add five different textures. It's done. Now let's move on to the folder with maps. And here I have tiles diffuse map. I will use it. That's why I go to the textures, click on the texture slot here next to zero and upload the bitmap. I choose the bitmap and open. Then I go to the previous asset. In the first texture, I will copy the texture, right click copy and paste it to the next texture. But I don't want to have two the same textures. I want the second texture to look different. That's why I click on the texture slot, go to the texture placement and I can rotate the texture or repeat UV. It means that I can scale this texture. Let's take a look. I type 1.2 and 1.2 and let's see that the texture is smaller. It's more repetitive. Now I will choose 0 0.9 and 0 0.9 and it's much larger. I will leave it as it is. Remember that you can always rotate the texture, for example, by 90 degrees and the texture is different. I go to the previous asset. Now I copy the texture, right click, copy and paste it to the third texture and paste this copy. And again, go to the texture placement and you can rotate it again by 90 degrees. So it's 180, change the repeat UV. You can also change offset UV Thanks to this, we will move the style to the right side or to the left side. Let's take a look. I type 0 
and let's say that looks different. Maybe I will leave zero because I don't want to have this line over here. So I will leave zero and let's move on to the next tile. Again, I copy this tile, paste this copy. I go to the texture placement. This time I will set one and one and rotate by 270. Okay. And again, I copy the texture, maybe from texture zero. This time I will copy the texture from zero position and paste this copy. And again, I can scale it and it's done. Okay, I have five different texture. Now let's apply this material to the tiles. I expand the materials tab and apply it to the tiles. Let's see that in the preview there is a checker, not the bitmap. Let's change it. To change the preview in SketchUp, I need to go to the binding tab. Let's expand this and change the texture mode to custom mode. Then I switch back to diffuse tab, right click, copy and paste this texture to the binding tab here in the texture position. Right click, paste as copy and the preview has changed. Let's change the dimension. I change it to 254 and it looks different. Let's see that in SketchUp it's very repetitive, but you will see that on the render these tiles will be different. Let's go to the asset editor and uncheck can be overridden option. Let's render the view. Let's see that the pattern is repetitive. We can fix it. Just go to the V-Ray Tiles Properties. Again, click on Texture Slot in the Diffuse tab. And let's see that here we can change Get ID From. I change it from Use Object ID to Random by Node Handle. Okay. To see the effect, I will uncheck Texture Slot. Thanks to it, instead of the texture, we will get the colors and the multi sub texture will be more visible. For this, I will use interactive rendering. That's why I turn this option and let's render interactively. Let's render the region only. That's why I click on the region render and select which area I would like to render interactively. And let's go to the asset editor. Let's remember that I change get ID from to random by node handle. If I change it again to use object ID, again, everything will be the same. So remember to change this option. Then remember that if you want to change the randomization of the tiles, you need to change the seed value. I change it to one and we have different order. I change it to two and again, it looks different. You can also change the gamma variation. If I set it to one, let's see that some colors are a little bit lighter. Some of them are darker. I will choose the higher value and let's see that we have light green color and dark green color. So these tiles are different. Okay. Now I check all the textures and let's see that now we have tiles and they are not the same. The pattern of each tile is different. If I change gamma variation to the high value, for example, to one, maybe it's too high, to 0 0.3, we have dark and bright tiles. I think that this value is too high. That's why I will choose 0 0.02. And let's see that the color of the tiles looks different. Again, I will choose 0 0.01 and let's see that it looks much more realistic. Some of them are brighter, some of them are darker. I will change the value again to 0 0.03 and let's see that the difference is not very visible. If I set it to 0 0.02, it looks very realistic. I will set it to 0 0.001. So the difference in brightness will be very small. Okay, 
It's fine. Now I can add reflections. To do this, I go to the asset editor, go to the previous assets, go to the reflection tab, and firstly, let's set reflection color. Here I will set quite large value, something around 215. Let's say that the reflection are very visible. And in the reflection glossiness, I will upload the texture. Again, I will use multi-sub map. To make it easier, I will copy the map from the diffuse tab. Right click, copy, and paste it to reflection glossiness. Paste as copy. Let's say that on the sample, reflection has disappeared. This is because the reflection glossiness maps are too dark. We need to change it. I go to the texture slot and I change the textures. I click on the first texture and change the space to linear. Thanks to this, we have lighter texture. I will do this with every texture. I change the color space to linear. I go to the previous asset and let's see that the reflection has appeared but I would like to get even more sharp reflections. I think that they are too blurry. We can brighten these textures very simply and very fast. Just right click on the texture slot, rub in and choose color correction. Here you can again change the brightness of each map. I will change the lightness mode to gain gamma lift and increase the gain and gamma value to 1.2. I go to the previous asset and the reflection is more visible. Let's render the scene. I go to the settings, turn off interactive rendering mode, turn on progressive one, and let's render. The render is created and let's take a look. We can notice reflections. They are visible over here and also in this place. If you want to increase the visibility of reflection, just go to the materials and increase reflection glossiness. And let's render again. Let's see the reflections are more visible. I can compare these two visualizations. And let's see that on the right side, these reflections are slightly more visible. I think that looks very interesting. I'm sure you will find this multi-sub map very useful. For the full course, visit my website edac.org. The link is below the video and also at the top right corner. See you soon. Bye.